Welcome to my channel. I'm working in Odyssey of the Seas. Luckily, I am in Europe and I will be able to watch these beautiful ports, Italy, Greece and Spain. I'm going to ask locals which is their favorite dish in their country and then I'm going to try it. Let's go. Hello everyone, right now we are in Santorini in Greece and I'm here with only one goal, of course, to try the best Greek dish. Let's meet the city, let's talk to locals and let's eat their food. Kalimera, Kalimera. are you local? No. Yes. Okay, I'm looking for the best Greek food, in your opinion. I like calamari gemisto. Paristo. All of them is good, really. <laughs> just one, just pick one, just pick yeah. one. Uh, moussaka is good too. Moussaka. Yeah. I think the most traditional dish for Greek is souvlaki and moussaka. Nice video. Bye. You want to speak English? What's that? It's a pasticcio. Pasticcio, that's a new one. It's similar with moussaka, but without uh -huh. veggies. Moussaka. Pasticcio. Moussaka. 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 I'm very tired of walking. I'm going to now find the best re re <laughs> try to find the best restaurant in Santorin. Primera, for one person. Yes. Here's my lunch view, and the Greeks have decided moussaka is the best traditional Greek food, and that's what I'm going to eat. Eggplant with beef with cheese. It looks very oily, but very delicious. Here's how it looks. <sighs> Tzatziki, oh my god, I miss this. Made with yogurt, cucumber, olive oil. Oh my god, it's so fresh, man. So, moussaka, let's try this one. Now, without burning my tongue. A lot of beef, a lot of vegetables, tomatoes, eggplants. And there's also potato. I'm not getting much flavor. It's a big messy casserole now. Look. Now it has an amazing flavor and with different textures that is nice to, to chew. So just before I go back to the ship, I want to go to that giant flag in front of me. To the flag. To the flag, yes. Oh my god, what is this? What's your name? Maria. Maria. Yours? Guilherme. Guilherme? Yes. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yes, too. <laughs> Good time. You too. Look at the size of this flag, holy shit. And with this, we say goodbye to Greece. It was an amazing time. We're going back to the ship. And just before we reach Italy, Please subscribe right here on the side. Thank you so much. I love you. I'm right now in Civitavecchia, Italy. Let's go. Hello, sir. Are you Italian? Uh, yes. I'm looking for the best food in Italy. Ah, for me, it's uh, pasta and pizza. Okay. Grazie. Thank you. <laughs> Lasagna. Lasagna. Qual è tu favorita? Pizza. Pizza. Hello, amigo. Italian? No Italiano? Hello. Italiano? Do you speak English? Uh, so, so. Uh, you eat pizza? 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 Hello, amigos. Italiano? Sí. Do you speak English? <laughs> so, so. I'm looking for the best Italian food. Okay. Uh -huh. Which one is your favorite? Pasta. Hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> and for you? Pasta. Pasta? Okay, perfect. Grazie. Thank you, bro. Grazie. I didn't want to leave Italy without eating pizza, so that's what I'm going to eat. Alright, we got the Vespa and we got our plan. We are right here. We're going to go to Lerici to see if the pizza and engine. Mm -hmm. Alright, okay. Bravo!
we arrive late Ichi. This beautiful town. This is also where we're going to try the best pizza, maybe Amazing in Italy. Deal. Okay, come on. Margherita, the most typical Italian pizza. And focaccia, this is uh, Italian bread. So the only bad thing that I, I've been seeing here is that they're all cold. Reminds me of that taste of cheesecake. Also cold, but still very, very good. <laughs> Margherita with pesto. The flavor is perfect. The tomato sauce, the cheese and the pesto. Just the pizza is a bit cold. I want to give pizza a second try. So just before I come back to the ship, I will stop in this pizzeria that the locals were telling me about. So here we have three types of pizza. Margarita, eggplant and Nutella. Perfectly crunchy in the bottom and very soft in the, in the top. The flavors of this one are very delicious. Let's try this one. Eggplant, cheese. It's literally perfect. The pizza is so fucking good. And I even got the chocolate pizza. Flavored good, the bread is right. But this doesn't count as pizza. And now, going back to the ship, we're going to Spain. Let's check their food. Alright, we arrived Spain, more specifically here in Malaga. I'm gonna now start asking the locals about their favorite Spanish dish. Let's go. Hola, buenas tardes. Estoy procurando el mejor típico tradicional para comer español. La sardina malagueña. Gracias. De nada, guapo. Hasta luego. Adiós. Hola. Pescado de Malaga. ¿Quieres cerveza? ¿Cuánto es? Uf, carito, ¿ah? ¿eh? En el mercado, una todo caro ahora. Ah, sí, pan, ajá, ay, ay, ay. Mira, solo tengo esto. Uno y. Ya cinco, está, ya está, 80, ya. uno y 80. No, no pasa nada, ya ¿Sí? Ah. Perfecto. Para ti no pasa nada. Muchas gracias. gracias. Adiós, amigos. Hola. ¿Cuál es tu favorita? <risa> Pescadito. <risa> sí. <risa> Pescadito de Málaga. ¿Y para ti? Para mí también. Ok. Mucho gusto. Guilherme. Guilherme. Yes. Nombre muy complicado. Sí, so here is our goal before we eat to climb all the way up the castle. Oh. <laughs> She just pooped herself. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Hola. Española? Oh, sí. Ok, estoy procurando la mejor comida española. Paella. Paella? Ok. Sí. Gracias. Gracias. Uf, el favorito puede haber mucho, pero mal haga pescadito. Aquí despeto. ¿Despeto? Despeto, Sardina. Almorejo. Española paella. La paella. Y en Málaga, lo que es pescadito frito. Pescadito de Málaga has one fried fish from Málaga. Just brought me a typical caldillo de pinta roja, made with the fish stew that they use, and it's supposed to burn all the way down. <coughs> very oily, very spicy, mm, but it's, it's, it's delicious. So this dish right here made with garlic, shrimp, pepper, and this is very good to, to dip with this bread right here that we have. A shrimp with a sauce. So this right here is just a starter. It's very oily and spicy, but it's not the pescadito from Malaga. We're gonna try that now. So pescadito de Malaga is basically a fried fish. I asked for three types of fish. This one is salmonete. Okay, gracias. We have now calamaris also. These are so easy to eat. It's very fried, but the flavor of the oil is not too much. Mm. 
Okay, on it. This one you can eat it right away, just all of it. All the fishes were very fresh and very tasty. Easy to eat, not too oily, and very delicious. And now we're going back to the ship. I will make the review right away after you subscribe. Thank you. Oh my god, after all that food. Let's start in Greece. The locals decided moussaka was their best Greek dish. I tried it, the presentation was very beautiful. It came in a little pot and I appreciate that. For me, it lacked flavor and texture. There is nothing crunchy, only mushy stuff. Moussaka, I'll give you a five out of 10. Then we went to Italy. The locals chose pizza. Pizza is like the greatest discovery in the world. It's a everywhere i had pizza from two different places six of them were kind of cold but two of them especially the margarita was unbelievable it was literally the best slice of pizza i've ever had based on that slice so i'm giving italy an eight out of ten and then we went to spain the spanish locals chose pescaito de malaga it was very fresh it was very delicious but I didn't have vegetables, I didn't have rice, I didn't have pasta. It missed something for me. So, Spanish dish, I'm giving you a 6 out of 10. And then makes the winner the pizza from Italia. And now please subscribe right here in this cone face. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So please subscribe, thank you so much. And also if you have time, or if you don't, watch this video here. This is the best suite in the Mediterranean. Go watch it. Thank you.